on the shortlist is um, Pig the Pug, Aaron Blaby by Scholastic Press. <laughs> Scary Night by Leslie Gibbs with illustrations by Stephen Michael King, uh, published by Working Title Press. <laughs> Go to Sleep, Jesse by Libby Gleeson, illustrated by Freya Blackwood, published by Little Hair, Hardy Grant, Egmont. A House of Her Own uh, by Jenny Hughes, illustrated by Jonathan Bentley, uh, published by Hardy Grant Egmont. <laughs> Snail and Turtle are Friends uh, by Stephen Michael King, published by Scholastic Press. <laughs> Noni the Pony Goes to the Beach by Alison Lester, published by Alan and Unwin. And the honour, oh, I'll wait for you to come to the stage first. So. It's a crowd. <laughs> <gasps> Everyone, one step forward, please. <laughs> and the honour books are... Scary Night by Leslie Gibbs, illustrated by Stephen Michael King by Working Title Press. And Noni the Pony Goes to the Beach by Alison Lester, published by Alan and Unwin. All right, and now the winner is... Need a drum roll, do we? Thank you. Uh, the winner is Go to Sleep Jesse by Libby Gleason, illustrated by Freya Blackwood, published by Little Hair Hardy Grant Egmont. Well, <laughs> getting up for, uh, to speak at moments like this always calls for thank yous, and I'm not going to buck a trend. First of all, the first thank you in connection with this book, Go to Sleep, Jessie, goes to Jessie, who is somewhere here in the audience. Put your hand up, Jess. Okay. Uh, but also to her sister, Jo, who's a couple of years older and is not here because she's in New York. They are two of my kids who did not blink when it dawned on me after I'd had this manuscript assessed, accepted that I should probably ask them if they minded. <laughs> well, Jessie, the screaming star of the books here, as I said, and she and her next sister not only said yes, they didn't mind it being printed or published, they launched it for me with a convincing story of how I have been mining their childhoods and their family secrets for the last 30 years. <laughs> and it's true, I do use my, um, my family secrets, but it's the life I lead in the context of a husband and three kids. They enrich the fiction and the picture books I make, no apology for that. It's the life I lead, and story comes out of the life you lead. I have a mantra above my desk which says, celebrate the ordinary, and that's what I try to do in the fiction. Give story and celebration to the ordinary sorts of lives that we all live. And I am so lucky that I have par par partnered with Freya as the illustrator for this book. Some years ago, when I first began working with Freya, I said I had enormous admiration for her work and that I felt in that there was a, a wonderful marriage of words and images. And I can only say that my admiration grows with every book that we have done. 
I think her success today tells us what a force she is in Australian picture book illustration. And she's a bold um, illustrator. It's not just the emotions of the children which I referred to a moment ago, it's the way she experiments, the pure artistry of contrasting studies of blues and oranges in this book that I love. And the way in which, you know, there are representations on pages of small images and then large spreads that show the stillness and the quiet of a distressed child. Thank you to Little Hare and to Margreta um, Lamond, our editor behind me. Margaret is an editor who's nurtured us through five titles so far, but she's also a writer, and she can clearly see the implications of changing a phrase or an image. And I use the word nurtured, but don't be fooled. She doesn't hesitate if she thinks that you might be unwilling to make a change, and she'll work you through the process. And they've helped us by bringing us to Melbourne. And thank you again to the Children's Book Council of Australia for all the fabulous things you do to support children's literature all over the country. I think we, the writers, the illustrators, the publishers, are indebted to you for the hours that you put in, in the sh to share and celebrate children's literature. The judges had 400 titles submitted, and even if you take away the 49, that still leaves 351 to read, to digest, and to make a judgment on. And this is not a process where you throw the book aside if you don't like the first page. They have to read everything and write about it. And it's incredibly hard. And I'm really grateful that this book got chosen because it could have been another. So congratulations to everyone who joined us on the shortlist and in the notables. And I said in the beginning, thank you to Joe and Jess for this story. But thanks too to their big sister, Amy, for everything that a first child teaches her parents. Those thanks extend to Ewan, my husband, and the father of these girls who not only wrestled with crying children in the night, but has supported me all the way through. Go to Sleep Jesse grew out of our experience as parents. If it says anything to the parents of young children everywhere, and it wasn't meant to be non-fiction, but I reckon you get more from fiction than you get from non, my advice is this, don't ever shut the door on a crying baby. Make sure you have more than one and put them in bed together. We all like sharing our bed, and they are no exception. <laughs> that was great advice. <laughs> I was actually thinking about um, how Libby, I think, has often taught me about parenting through the books that I've illustrated of hers. Um, so that really works for me. Thanks. I didn't quite get there with the two children. Um, but um, Libby said some wonderful stuff and I don't know that mine quite... Mm. But I did want to say that I met Libby here in 2007 in Melbourne um, when Amy and Louis won this same award. Uh, and I flew over from New Zealand and I had Ivy as a little baby with me. And my mum flew down to meet us and my dad, who was a bit grumpy that he wasn't flying down, drove all the way from Orange so that he didn't miss out. <laughs> and at that day, I met some of my idols. So I met Libby and I met Jan Ormerod and I mumbled something very incoherent and unintelligent to Sean Tan. <laughs> and, I, and Katie, you had a great conversation with him, but I just, <laughs> something. So, but we're here eight years later, <laughs> back in Melbourne and my mum and dad have done this crazy trip down here and Ivy's here but she's not breastfeeding anymore <laughs> and Libby and I have won this book together and it feels like a really nice cycle um, and I'm yeah I'm grateful to everyone in my life who's who's contributed to that um, since Amy and Louie there's been a lovely range of stories that have come my way from Libby um, and I love her realistic characters I love the relaxed families, and I'm sure she's trying to teach me something here <laughs> with the parents. <laughs> Don't stress out so much. Um, and I love that gentle nature that her stories have, and I feel, I feel um, amazed that I somehow compliment them because I don't feel <laughs> that I'm relaxed or gentle at all. Um, <laughs> but something works, and the other thing that works is our relationship with Margreta, who's behind us here. Um, and we've all worked together so many times now. And I guess we know each other so well. And I'm so grateful that I've found myself in this position. Um, 
My mum, actually, I'd love to thank for her knowledge of design and the lessons she gave Margreta and me in the back room of, our, of her house, and which inspired the colour scheme for the book. Um, I learnt about the colour wheel. <laughs> I probably should have known about it a lot earlier, <laughs> doing what I do. <laughs> but I learnt that there's opposite colours. <laughs> and that, in turn, created a whole theme for the book. <laughs> so thank you, Katie. <laughs> Um, and look, it benefited also, the book, from inspired design work of Hannah Jansen. Is that Jansen? Yeah, uh, who works for Little Hair Books. Um, she did a beautiful job, um, as of course did Margreta, um, and Sally O'Brien and, oh, sorry, Ali O'Brien and Sally Davis at Little Hair Books for their support and just onto itness, I feel. My sincere thanks again to the Children's Book Council of Australia. <laughs> Thank you for these awards today. I'm incredibly grateful. Okay.